Hey, good morning, everybody. It is the 8th, I believe, of February. Is that right? Um, yeah, 8th of February. It is mid-20s right here at my house. Uh, very cold. Uh, my office is closed for the day because of the Eagles Parade. I work in the city of Philadelphia. So... I am going to take the opportunity to try to get out and do some fishing. Careful on the road. Go by me, I'm Cadillac. I'm got to be careful on the road. I'm got to drive easy. The highway man parked on the road. Well, as you can see, got another partially frozen lake today, just like I had this past weekend. This cove actually where I was going to start fishing is frozen. The good news is that the main body of the lake is open. So we'll fish the main body of the lake and uh, we'll have to save the cove for another time. We got some wind out here as you can see. It's not impossibly bad wind but it's it's gonna move my rods you know my, my baits around a little bit on these bobber rigs. So, just have to deal with that. And, you know, probably a lot of resetting of the lines because of wind drift. But that's okay because it'll cover some area. Fish on. Fish on. Feels decent. Feels like a bass. Guessing it's, oh yeah, it's a good bass. Alright. Not good enough for the net, I don't think, but that's a pretty nice bass. Come on, bud. Come on. Alright. Now, nah, not good enough for the net, but a nice bass nonetheless. Alright. Beautiful winter colors on that guy couple pounds I guess. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How's the hook? Oh, I kind of barely got him on the bottom of the lip, but thank goodness for sharp circle hooks here. Nice. That's what we're here for. 1.8 pounds. Just under two. All right, buddy. Nice. Thank you for the fight. Great on a day like today. Let me know when you're ready. Off he goes. Awesome. It's, it's about 11.15. And uh, I like to think that once that sun gets up, I'll have a little bit of time between... Oh, another hit. Fish on. 
Fish on, a little smaller. A little smaller fish, but still a fish. Digging for the bottom. What are you, bud? Oh, stud yellow perch. There we go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice yellow perch. All right, there he is, and here he goes. You ready, bud? Beautiful. Camera on, looks like it might be a yellow perch. Fish. It is a fish. Big crappie. Nice. I wasn't planning on keeping fish today. Look at that dude. Let's get a measurement on that guy. 14? 13? All right, let's see. Let's get a measurement on him. He is 13 and almost 14. 13 and a half, I'd say. Nice fish. There he is. Yeah, it's on. I just keep it running. I don't know. It's fighting pretty good, whatever it is. It's not tiny. I mean, it's a panfish, I think, but... Oh, no, it's a bass. All right. All righty. Come here, buddy. All right. Nothing huge, but maybe 13 or 14 inches. A little fat guy, too. Look at him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Final look. Give this guy a good release. Off you go. He's right there. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. What do we got? Let's check it out. I bet it is a crappy out there in Crappy Central. Bass, maybe? Fighting. Yeah, bass. Little one, one pounder, maybe? Pound and a half? Good fish? Oh, yeah, you got winter colors. Nice. Get a look viewers here. Come here, buddy. There we go. Look at that guy. Pretty, really dark stripe on him. Nice. On the little jig. Alright, on the jig. Yeah. See the... Very big. Nice. Alright, I'm going to let him go. Alright. There he goes. Headed right out. All right, we got a cork missing, and I think a fish is taking it, so we're gonna see what happens. Oh, yeah, fish on. Fish on. Feels like a pretty good one. Good, good looking bass, I think. Yeah, decent bass. All right, it's not a bad fish at all. Come on, bud. All right, <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good. Right in the upper jaw where he's supposed to be hooked. Nice fish there, man. Nice fish. 2.65, two and a half, a little over two and a half pounds. That's not a bad little fish. Ready to go back? There he is. And there he goes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I just had a hit on the gulp alive minnow and uh, missed him. Took it under, missed him. Mm, frustrating. times of the year when the fishing is good and you miss a hit, it's uh, 
that's okay because another one's coming but you miss a hit this time of year <laughs> you might have to wait for a while till you get the next one Feeling like a bass. It could be a bass, but if it is, it's a smaller one. I don't know, it's staying down. It might be a smaller bass. That's what it is. Well, not that small. Decent bass. Alright. There he is. Not too shabby. Another just steady, steady action, man. Okay, there you go. Like a 14, 15 incher. Not too bad. And back he goes. And he's off. All right, we got a fish on. And what he is? Might be a perch, or a, I mean a crappy. Oh no, what do we got? Giant mill roach, golden shiner. It's a pretty good fish. How about that? Holy mackerel. He's a stud. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Alright, you ready buddy? Now you can go for real. There he goes. So uh, that's a wrap for today. Pretty good day all in all. Uh, missed a few fish at the end, which is frustrating. But, you know, caught, I don't even remember how many, uh, six or eight bass. Really nice yellow perch. My dad got that nice crappie out there. I got the golden shiner, the mill roach. Um, yeah, again, um, middle of February, middle of the work week. Got a day off for the Eagle Sprayed, and I feel like I made the most of it. So, uh, as always, uh, it's the Brandywine Angular Manly Parks. Thank you for watching. See you next time. I'm going to the station and get the man to check my oil.